Now I'm going to try and set, show, show how to set the phone up as a mobile Wi-Fi device. So we go into settings on the phone. We have a look at network settings, wireless and network. We go down to tethering. We turn that on. Missed it. Tethering. Portable Wi-Fi hotspot. We set it on. And I've already set a password in this, and it should be already set up inside the uh, inside the um, inside the um, Nexus. So we'll look at that in a moment. That seems to be set up. So I'll just check the settings again. Wireless. Uh, so we'll look. Wireless again. Now when tethering is active, you don't actually see the wireless activated as such. It's enabled. Let's look at the settings. Configure it. Okay, I've got a password in there. It's already been set. Okay, right, go back to settings. That should be set up now as our Wi-Fi hotspot. Go to the Nexus. Get that open. See if we can see that without missing everything. Set the brightness at full, all the bullets going to do. Oops. We get into the Nexus, click that app, and we go to settings. We draw down, become completely invisible. And select the uh, Wi Fi, hit that. And it's already logged on to the Xperia, as you can see there. So we actually, we actually should be online. So we go back. Uh, it's going to cost a lot of data uses. You have to check on the network as well. I suspect they, they suss out when you're tethering or when you're using your phone. If we go back to the main screen. We open up the browser. Very quickly. Connects to PC World. Do a quick search. I'm off the types, so I use the Olympic fencing. So it's searching Olympic fencing. And it brings up a results straight away. So we click on one of the first results. We go in there, the page starts to load, we'll go to to wide and we've got a, we've got some stuff up in here, some results. We've got a web page, not particularly impressive, but it seems to be working. Um, we go back, we we'll go to YouTube if we want to. Seems to rotate it here. I need to do this with one hand. Uh, go back. Go for another search. YouTube. Takes it into YouTube. Nothing particularly exciting here. Uh, video there okay no doubt the internet's working all the way out here so that's super so we just go back to the screen and leave that now, I'm not going to leave that on for obvious reasons it uses a lot of probably a lot of credit on your phone but that's how you can set up using your mobile phone here as a, as a portable Wi-Fi hotspot and give internet and tether device to it giving you internet so that really covers a GPS compass functionality remember to take it out of the case it's got magnets in it um, calibrate it, switch it off, all the way power it off, power it back on again, move it in a figure of eight, the device flat to the ground like this apparently lots of times and have a normal compass ready as well to test it. GPS worked really well as far as I could see, I couldn't test it against anything but it certainly got the, up to nine satellites and they both agreed with each other and, and obviously the, the, the um, Nexus is independent of a network when it was doing that, it was independent so it's capable of functioning as a GPS device with the raw feed which is what you expect from a device like that independent of the phone network and we can get the phone network with these two devices that's not bad that's not bad at all i think that pretty much concludes the uh, sort of little oops tech investigation today take a few photographs with the samsung uh compact camera i've got wb40 i think it is quite a nice camera i'll get a few bits and go back and get some exercise as well not bad for a saturday afternoon